I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the subscribers and the viewers for participating actively in making my YouTube channel a very interesting one. Here is another brilliant question from one of our subscribers, Mr. Francis from Myanmar. Francis, thanks a lot for sharing all these questions. You have been very consistent and you have really contributed a lot in our channel. The question here is, area of the square ABCD is 625 centimeter square. Area of rhombus CDEF is 500 centimeter square. Find the area of shaded region in centimeter square. Four choices are given to you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, that is the square ABCD, and this is the rhombus. All sides of square and rhombus are equal, right? So that is kind of important to understand. And that should help us to find an answer. We are given area of the square ABCD as 625. That means sides of each, each side of the square should be square root of 625, right? So, so let me write down here, area of square is equals to 625. In that case, I can write that AD, the side of the square, will be square root of 625, correct? Since this is AD square, which is also equals to DC or CD square, right? Okay. Square root of 625, as you know, is 25. So, so we get this side as 25 units in centimeters, and that is the vertical. Both sides are 25. Okay, so we got one thing, sides. So let me say this side is 25. And this side is also 25. Now let's work on the area of rhombus. So uh, let me write square here. Now rhombus. Let me write this as something like this, a symbol, right? Now, area of rhombus is base times height. So, which is base times height? So, let us say that the, the height for this is h. So, let me just drop a perpendicular and we'll call this as the height. Okay. So, base time height and this is given to us as 500 centimeters square. We know the base is D to C, right? So we know that this is 25 times height is 500. So we can write height as 500 divided by 25, which goes 20 times. So we know height is 20. So if I kind of drop a perpendicular here, right? In that case, I know that this much distance is 20 right so let's write it down so we know this is 20 so that leaves us over the top portion as 5 centimeters correct okay now now let me label this point as let's say G so from here what we just worked out is that A to G is 25 minus 20 and that is 5, right, all in centimeters. So now we need to find area of this shaded portion. We know that this length here is 25, the width is 5, now the triangle. In the triangle, we know one side is 20. Now, this is a right angle triangle. The other side here is 25 since it is equal to CD, right? Side of the square. Now, that's the high hypotenuse. So, if you're working in the triangle, let's say DEG, 
In that case, we can find what e to g is. So e g square is basically e g square. Okay. Let me write g e square now. Is this square minus the other square, which is 25 square minus 20 square. Perfect. So 25 square, we know 625. Well, since we square root it, so GE is that much. 625 minus 400 square root, correct? Which is 225 square root, and that gives you 15. So GE is 15 for us. Now, we can easily find the area of the shaded portion. So we can now write down that the, the area of the shaded portion is equal to what? It is the area of this rectangle, right? And the triangle. So it's the area of small rectangle plus area of the triangle. The area of rectangle is 25. This side is also 25 times 5. So it is 25 times 5 plus area of the triangle which is half base into height so it is half of 15 times 20 so we can do this calculation 25 times 5 is 125 plus half of 20 is 10 so we get 150 here and when you add them all we get 275 and therefore option C is the correct option is that clear to you so very interesting question and I hope you understand how we approached it. Basically, the area of the square gives you the side of the square also. From the side of the square, we figured out the sides of the rhombus. All are equal in length. We knew the area of the rhombus which gave us the height since the base was known to us. Now from the height, using Pythagorean theorem, we found this critical distance g to e. Now once that was known to us and 20, the other side of this triangle, it was much simpler to simplify. So that was a great question. Francis, thanks a lot for sharing this question with us and I am sure many of our subscribers and viewers will benefit from it. Thank you and all the best.